the farmers in india are are fighting against uh, three laws which have been brought about by the government uh, these laws uh, the the common impression is that these laws are pro corporate um among the three laws there is one which uh, which according to the prime minister um you know frees the farmer from selling his or her produce to the government uh, procurement center um at a minimum support price and the prime minister says that now the farmer can go and sell his or her produce anywhere in the country uh, but the reality is that the private buyers do not buy the agricultural produce at a rate uh, which is equal to that of minimum support price or higher they always buy at a lower rate for example the current rate of paddy in uttar pradesh a state where i come from is rupees 1868 and 1888 for two different varieties of paddy but the farmers are forced to sell in the open market at rupees 900 rupees 1000 at the most rupees 1500 per quintal uh because the government procurement centers are simply not functional the small farmer is not able to sell his or her produce and there are uh, <clears throat> there are bureaucratic red tapeism because of which uh, the the government procurement center sometimes it is simply closed and and sometimes they they bring up uh, some issues because of which farmers are not able to sell and therefore you know the farmer is forced to sell it to the private traders at a rate much below msp so if uh, if the government intends to to send the farmer to private produce private uh, procurement uh, agencies then the guarantee of the minimum support price at the government procurement center will be gone and the farmer will be totally at the mercy of the private players so this is uh, one uh, of the laws the second law uh, says that private companies can now enter into contract with farmers and will engage in contract farming uh, this seems very dangerous because in our country uh, in the history of our country there is an instance where mahatma gandhi had to go to champaran in bihar because the the uh, britishers were forcing the farmers to grow indigo and uh, they were not giving a good price because of which the farmers were uh, living in in extreme poverty and the exploitation was was so much that uh, that mahatma gandhi had to go uh, to champaran to wage a struggle um, as a result of which uh, you know the farmers uh, were able to come out of this situation of exploitation to some extent um so uh, the country uh, has the memory of of the champaran movement and and the farmers uh, are not at all comfortable with the idea of private companies dealing directly with them uh the third act which is actually an amendment is called the essential commodities act amendment act and it removes any ceiling on the storage of various essential items which include wheat rice a potato onion uh, vegetable oil and things like that uh, uh, so essentially now uh, there will be nothing called holding uh, because there is no ceiling on 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 uh, storage uh, this is also very dangerous because uh, the common feeling is that the big companies especially the ones owned by the favorite corporate houses of the government uh, headed by uh, mr ambani and mr adani uh, will open up big go downs and will procure will procure and and store uh, these essential items until a time when there is shortage in the market and and then they will release these items at a price which they will decide so uh, not only the farmer but but even the consumer the common people uh, will be at the mercy of these uh, these corporate giants and these are the reasons why uh, the farmer is on the street and uh, it is estimated that about 1 crore farmers uh, are sitting outside delhi 
uh, on the Punjab border, on the Haryana border, um, on the actually um, uh, Punjab uh, does not have a direct border with Delhi. So, so uh, there are two borders uh, in Haryana, uh, and there's a border uh, two or three, I think, and then there's a one at, at in uh, at the Rajasthan border, and one is with UP. Uh, so at least of four or five places, uh, prominent places, the farmers are sitting and, and uh, staging a sit-in and they are trying to enter Delhi. The, the central government is stopping them from entered, entering Delhi by, by setting up barricades. Uh, but the farmers have given a warning that they will forcibly enter Delhi on 26th of January, which is the Republic Day for India. Um, the second most important day from the point of view of the government after the Independence Day, which is celebrated on 15th August. So uh, today, in fact, there was a rehearsal um, where the farmers took out tractor rallies uh, near Delhi border as well as at various places, for example, in Sitapur district in Uttar Pradesh. And uh, uh, even though it has been more than a month, but the farmers are, are um, you know, determined to, to force the government to withdraw these acts. Um, and the government is engaged in dialogue with the farmers. The government also intends not to repeal the act and instead wants some, some amendments in the acts to which the farmers are not agreeable. Now, this whole movement is very important from the point of view of common people because it is going to decide the future course of, of, of direction of this country. Uh, whether we are going to see more privatization in various sectors or the government will uh, retain some control over, over areas which directly impact the lives of the people. Already, uh, the, the people, uh, common people are suffering because of privatization in healthcare and in education as the quality of the government services has gone down uh, compared to the private uh, players. Um, the telecom industry, um, the, the transportation industry, the government has planned to privatize the biggest transporter, transporter in, in India, which is the Indian Railways. Uh, so, um, you know, people have had bad experience of privatization in various fields because the prices of the services go up in the name of efficiency. And after a while, even that efficiency is not there because the private players tend to compromise with the quality. For example, the quality of health services available at the government hospitals is still far superior to what you can access at uh, the private hospitals, um, except for very costly private hospitals, uh, where they, they poach government doctors or, or hire government doctors upon their re retirement and, and uh, are made to work at these hospitals. But a normal uh, private hospital, uh, the, the quality of health services are nowhere compared to what the government hospitals have to offer. So uh, because of this experience, people are not very comfortable with the, with the three agricultural bills, uh, the acts which have been made acts now, and, and uh, they want the government to withdraw this. And, and uh, the people are fighting because they want to ensure that the government works in the interest of people. In the democracy, the government is, is supposed to be for the people, by the people, of the people, and people want it to remain that way. They do not want a government which works for the private corporations. Thank you.